The Ministry of Health's Cervical Cancer Elimination Strategy Plan was on Friday launched at the Pegasus Corporate Suites in Georgetown. This plan, aimed at tackling the deadly disease, was distributed to stakeholders. Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony, during his featured address, said the country's plan is to get at least 70% of the female population screened for the cancer cells and to have those persons who are positive treated through public health care. If we screen people, and we are able to detect abnormal cells uh, early, then we can prevent many of the complications from happening because then we'll be able to deal with it at a very early stage. But if we wait until people get all kinds of complications, of course it's going to be more difficult. So screening is absolutely important. And that is why we want to encourage every woman in Guyana to be screened. Traditionally, pap smears and VIA tests are done to check for signs of the cancer. But as of next week, public testing for the human papilloma virus, HPV, using equipment donated by the government of China will be available. These tests are often about $25,000 at private institutions, Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony previously said. Focus on cervical cancer is necessary as it is the second most prevalent cancer that causes over 34,000 deaths in the Americas. Over the years, there were several challenges in finalizing such a strategy. HPV is a leading cause for cervical cancer. Other causes are immunodeficiency and smoking. Our traditional way of screening was with VIA and we did pap smears. But we are introducing now in the public sector HPV tests. And so this would be now widely available. As of next week, we'll be able to roll this out and make sure that anyone who meet the age uh, qualifications, they'll have access to HPV testing. The ministry will also distribute testing kits as it tackles the detrimental disease. It is also considering ways to establish a plan to offer bronchi therapy, which is another form of treatment for the cancer. Ensuring that at least 70% of women within the reproductive age of 21 to 60 undergo screening will require massive collaboration. The ministry is collaborating with the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, and non-governmental organizations to ensure nationwide awareness is attained. Dr. Karen Roberts, who is attached at PAHO, said strategic sensitization efforts will be conducted soon. Effective implementation will also require coordinated cooperation among multi-sectoral partners. It will require broad support for equitable access in the context of universal health coverage. It will require effective resource mobilization health system strengthening, and vigorous health promotion efforts. The HPV vaccine is available for children ages 9 to 17 and adults ages 18 to 45. Going forward, the ministry will ramp up its vaccination program. The vaccination uptake for children under 5 years old is considerably high, but targets set for the costly HPV vaccine is relatively low at 40%. The plan of action is to go to schools and communities to spread awareness and vaccinate persons. Reporting for the newsroom, Lazina Yearwood.